Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for optimal inferencing on flexible hardware with Onyx Runtime. Today, we'll be using the ResNet50 model to inference on CPU, GPU, and OpenVINO using Onyx Runtime. Before we get started, I want to make five quick points. One, I'll be using the Windows operating system with Python and PIP3 already installed. Two, I've already created virtual environments to separate between CPU, GPU, and OpenVINO. Three, I'll be using Azure Notebooks in Azure Machine Learning Studio, but this works in Jupyter Notebooks if that's what you want to use. Four, on the file directory, look that there's a cat.jpg file. Make sure you have a similar image that you want to inference using the ResNet50 model on. And then lastly, note that Onyx Runtime GPU library requires an NVIDIA CUDA or some sort of GPU accelerator. But if you don't have one, that's okay too, because the library will default to a CPU if it doesn't detect a GPU in your system. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So I've already set up the virtual environments and written the code straight from the blog post, copy and paste it if you want. Um, and I'm gonna go into getting our CPU virtual environment up. So right now, I think, you know, as you can tell, I have two compute clusters, one being GPU and the second being a CPU. So we're going to go with the CPU one, and we're going to go to our environment. Right now, it's called CPU underscore M underscore ResNet, and we'll give it a run. So this line of code is the one that um, on the blog post says, this is how you like set up your library, and then this is setting up your environment, installing the necessary packages. This is already running, it kind of speeds through. And then we're importing a ResNet 50 pre-trained model from TorchVision, and we're going to export it as a Onyx model. Um, and this is how we get the ResNet 50 Onyx model done on the left. Let's close this for a sec so you can see. So once that's completed, we have some pre-processing. And this is where you change the title of your um, picture that you're inferencing. And this is Onyx runtime code for inferencing. The code is primarily the same. Um, so we cut off there. But the main difference is that we're going to be calling this a CPU execution provider. If you want to be um, running this inference on GPU or OpenVINO, you just change it to CUDA execution provider or OpenVINO execution provider, as we'll see in the future. And so as we can see, we get the inference time being around 30 milliseconds. And for PyTorch as a benchmark, we have the inference time being around uh, 500. This is like a single um, run. It's going to change like several times. So as you can see, we have around 50 milliseconds. Um, but more importantly, the outputs are indeed the same. So now let's move on to GPU. So for GPU, we're going to switch to our compute cluster. Um, and we're going to use the GPU compute cluster. And we're going to move to our GPU and ResNet virtual environment, which you can follow the blog post to create your virtual environment. And we're going to give this a run. And so you should see that we have Onyx Runtime Dash GPU in our library set up. Again, if you don't, if the system is not detecting a CPU, it'll just default to running with CPU. The so same steps. Main difference, um, well, we see that GPU availability is true here, confirming it with this print statement. And we do see that, we missed it slide. The code for inferencing with Onyx Runtime is exactly the same. Um, the only difference is that we changed this to CUDA execution provider. And so we did get a speed up of 20 milliseconds. And for benchmark and PyTorch, it's also around 20 milliseconds. And the outputs are the same. It does believe that it's primarily an Egyptian cat. And last but not least is OpenVINO. OpenVINO, we are going to have two different files for this because the NumPy versions are a little bit different. But this is just for benchmarking, so you can either use Onyx Runtime or OpenVINO to um, get the job done. We're going to go back to our CPU because this will be OpenVINO on CPU. We're going to go to our OpenVINO M ResNet. And the main differences here are that you need to make sure that your virtual environment has the pip install OpenVINO. Otherwise, this won't work, particularly on the other file. And you'll need to change this to Onyx Runtime dash OpenVINO because there's a separate library for that and add these two lines of code. I'm going to give this a run. But other than that, it's primarily the same exact code. Um, for inferencing, especially for Onyx Runtime. That's kind of the point of Onyx Runtime. It makes it really easy 
a switch between it by setting the execution provider just to open Vino. And, be, and that will do the job same exact code. And we get 20 milliseconds. And then for open Vino on CPU, so this is just open Vino not, without Onyx runtime. And we're gonna be using that CPU, we'll just go back to our CPU cluster environment. Give this a run. Same exact code. The main difference is that we're just going to be inferencing with OpenVINO, which then we do get around 30 milliseconds on OpenVINO CPU, Egyptian cap being around 0 0.78, and Egyptian cap being around 0 0.78. So they're roughly the same. And so this is essentially a tutorial teaching you the basic idea between using, behind using Onyx runtime to deploy your model on CPU, GPU, and OpenVINO.